different from Abu Bakr. Abi Bakarata is different from Abu Bakr. Tayyip. He said, وَقَدْ جَاءَ And he came when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi ruku'u. When Abi Bakarata entered the masjid and the messenger alayhi salatu wa salam, he was on ruku'u. Right? When Abi Bakr came to the salah, the messenger was in ruku' alayhi salatu wa salam. Tayyip. So he mentioned Hafizahullah, Shaykh Sahih 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 Faraka'a duna saffi Faraka'a duna saffi So he made the ruku'u before joining the ranks Duna saffi before joining the ranks In other words, he entered and then he seen that the messenger made the ruku'u He just entered and make takbir and make ruku'u and start proceeding to the, to the ranks Right? Huh? Is it permissible to do that? From the hadith, the Messenger told him, told him at the end of it, he said, Zadakallahu hirthan wala tu'id. May Allah increase you in zeal, but do not repeat it. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm going to just give you all the details, inshallah. <laughs> The Prophet ﷺ, and he, he, let me let me finish. Walam yamuruhu. Shuf. The other one is walam yamuruhu Nabiyyu sallallahu alaihi wasallama bi iadati raka'a. And the Prophet ﷺ did not command him to repeat that that raka'a. That's one, right? And he told him, don't do it again. Right? He told him, don't do it again. But he told, he did not tell him to repeat the the raka'a. Now, what do you see from that, Sheikh? That it was permissible at that time because they didn't know. But once the prophet made it clear, that's it. You can't do it like that now. Alhamdulillah. The fact that he told him, he told him, he made dua for him and told him, don't repeat it, shows, right, that there is what? A nahi. Shows a nahi, it shows a nahi, right? The prohibition. And we know that the prohibition, it what? It either entails something that is, no, something that is not permissible, or something that is, or something that is, dislike, something that is dislike, or something that is dislike. Right? The prohibition can entail us that which is not permissible or something that is dislike. Tayyip. But the fact that he did not tell him, do not repeat the salah. He did not command him, as Shaykh Salah for that mention, وَلَمْ يَأْمُرُهُ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ بِإِعَادَةِ الرَّكَعَةِ That he, the messenger, alayhi salatu salam, did not tell him to repeat that rak'ah. Tayyip. Some of the scholars, barakallahu feekum, they mention that it is also that, or also, before mentioning this, it is a proof, it is a proof that it is the fact that the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, did not ask him to repeat the salah. That shows that it was what? It did not invalidate the salah. Because if it was to invalidate the salah, then... It will ask him to repeat. For instance, the Musi'u Salatihi, the one that came to the masjid and he was praying like, uh, yani like, uh, he, like a chicken. That's the word right, I'm looking for. He was praying like a chicken and he, uh, with his beak picking up things, right? So the Messenger, alayhi salat, dakhala rajul fil masjid. And he came in the masjid and prayed to raka'a. And he gave the salam to the messenger alayhi salatu wa salam. The messenger alayhi salatu wa salam told him what? He say, go back and pray. For indeed you haven't prayed. Go back and pray. For indeed you haven't prayed. Shuf, this word he commanded him, barakallah, fiikum, to do what? To pray. Huh? Not to do 20, it. last one. I'm reading this one. We'll go. So he mentioned Hafizahullah that 
He said the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam did not commend him. Sheikh Fawzan Hafizullah mentioned this. That the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam did not commend him to do so. To repeat the raka'ah. So that is a proof, right? That is a proof, meaning he met the raka'ah. So that is a proof that he will be rewarded for that. That means what? That he get the raka'ah. That means that he will be rewarded for that. That shows that he has the raka'at. So inshallah ta'ala we suffice ourselves with this until bi'idhnillahi ta'ala next week. We will have a few more points bi'idhnillahi ta'ala that to, to, to go. And we will take it just like this. Yani shayin for shayin inshallah. If there was any mistake that I have made, rectify me. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala rectify you. Jazakumullah khairan. Hayakumullah. Ayy tasheeh. Ziyada, Ustaz. See a brother kind of he'll lean back as if he's he'll he'll like lean all the way back when he's giving the test lean, kind of putting his head all the way behind his shoulder. Uh, yes, yes, the, the long lean. Right. Or you'll see the rolling of the head. You know, when the head rolls, or you'll see the the opening of the palms and things like this. And those are customary test limbs. right? And those are the customary test limbs. Yeah, like those are the yeah, like this. Those are the customary. The, the those are what we we'll call the traditional taslims. They ain't got nothing to do with the taslim, <coughs> the the shara. The messenger alayhi salatu salam will make taslim. He will turn to where he is, the whiteness of his. No, the whiteness of his cheeks will show. That is not like this, barakallahu feek. This is really looking at the person that is next to you. And another thing is, alhamdulillah, as far as like tapping the, tapping the, the hands on the thighs, this is not also, not from the, what, that, that, nothing that has been recorded. Right? Or rolling the head like this. I mean, you know, these are things that, barakallahu feek, you find many people, they are doing it, and not because of they have studied the salah. It is because they just are muqallidun. They just blind followers. So if they find a person do one thing and they are doing it. So you, and this is also as far as like flipping the, the, the hands. And this is a, a severe, I mean a, a, a hadith came to that. Where the messenger alayhi salatu salam, he mentioned that one will not be flipping their hands. Except that until that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will turn their hearts so that barakallah flipping of the hands and likewise this is something that barakallah fiqh a person have to stay away from amma turning all the way for the taslim it is sufficient for the whiteness of as the hadith that says that the prophet ﷺ, he will turn where he is the whiteness of his cheek will show so in the in the salah barakallah fiqh every single movement we do we got to have a dalil from the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. Every single dalil. Let's even the Imam, after the taslim, he turned, barakallahu feekum. Tayyip turning. And the Messenger alayhi salatu salam, kana ghaliban yaltafid ala yaminihi. Right? Most of the time he will turn to his right. Tayyip. And most of the time, yani yantadhir. He will wait until for a minute. And now here is the issue. That he was waiting for the woman to leave the masjid. So he will not turn around right away. He will wait until the woman, Barakallah, Fikum, what? They leave the masjid. Right? So now, Barakallah, Fikum, you, you realize now, okay, if the, 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 the ruling is not here no more, right? If the ruling is not here no more because there is no woman that are here, will the action still prevail? Or will the person will say, well, you know what, the Prophet did it, I will do it. We'll come with that, inshallah, next week. I'm going home. The same question, the same question. I don't know if that one is Bida or something like that. Those people, they never say, assalamu alaikum like that. They, they just come like that and do like that. After that, that's it. I don't know.
I, I mean, you tr you tr you travel, you will see a lot of things. He says some people they don't say salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. I mean, I'm sure you travel, you will see a lot of things. Believe me, you travel, you will see a lot of things. But alhamdulillah, what helps, what helps really is is, is studying. May Allah subhanahu wa taala give us guidance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad ala alihi wa sahbihi